Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I made this thing and how I used it in my project. I'm working on an order for a dental clinic which is costume uniforms and this is how I made all his scenes and how I presented them to him. If this is something that you would like to also learn and benefit from without any waste of time, let's just get right into it. So first off, what we want to do is that we will go and choose a hanger. Um, I want to find my hanger, which is this one. I will double click on it. Hangers here, which I'm just going to use today. Okay, so I'm just going to go with the basic today. And I'm not going to press open. I'm going to press add. What I will do is that I want it to come into center. So I'm going to press zero. Here, what else I want to do is that I want to turn on grid. So what I will do is that I will place this on my hanger like this, okay? Okay, it looks fine now. Then what I want to do is that I want to bring a garment, add a garment. Okay, I'm going to choose something that I have designed before. I don't want to um, use the pants, so I'm going to delete the pants, okay? Might as well just do it right now. I'm going to bring down the particle distance because I don't need that much detail right now, so 20 would be fine. And I'm going to simulate, and as you can see, it will simulate faster, okay? So it looks fine. Let's give it a quick render. Yep, it looks fine. Okay, so I'm just going to place this. You have to basically play with it. I'm going to save this. I'm going to save it as project. YouTube project. Okay, so that we can find it easily. The hangers. And I'm going to put YouTube 1. Save. Okay, next, we are going to make our scene. By scene, I mean the walls, the carpet, if there's like a pot we want to put, table, anything. I'm going to go with a new project. Uh, I will start by choosing the rectangle. Okay, so I will draw a big pattern. And as you can see in 3D, it's this big. So I'm going to press A that I can select it. I'm going to control C, control V. Okay, we're going to come in 3D again. We would need one for um, corner wall. I mean, we want to make something like this, okay? There's a very, very good icon uh, item for this. I right clicked on it and move to ground center okay so basically now i'm in the ground center i pressed four so i can see it from the side and as you can see it is exactly on the uh, center of my grid then what i will do is that i will use the handle and i will fix it like this then i'm going to choose all of them together and again using the handles like see even now you can see that there's a distance between the ground and this so i'm going to go a little bit and you know the bigger uh your surface is the more it takes to simulate and i don't know if you can hear but my laptop is going crazy it's like this okay <laughs> so Please go ahead and subscribe me. I might lose my laptop for this video. <laughs> okay, and then like this. And I think you guys get the idea, okay? So this is basically our scene. I think this like should be a little bit wider. So this is perfect. And now, if we give it a, a render, cancel. Okay, so we can see that it looks just like a corner of a room, okay? 
So this is the second part. I'm also going to save this, but before that, I'm going to add some accessories to this, okay? I'm going to go ahead and choose my carpet now. I'm going to press add. Don't press open here, okay? So my rug, as I, thought, as I told you, it's a 2D um, picture, actually. It's a texture, okay? It's not an object. But I did, like, give some effects to it. So I'm, I'm going to make a video on this, too. But I'm not sure if you guys really need this video. But if you do think this is something that you would like to learn, I would be more than happy to make a video on it. So once we bring our items, because we're going to zoom out and render, we need a lot of space. And that's why I'm making it bigger than usual. The file size is becoming actually very big. So that's why we are saving these as projects individually, okay? So I'm going to also save this. I think this is enough for now. You got the idea of what I mean. So basically, we're making this kind of a scene, okay? So next new project, male avatar, okay? Like, let's say this avatar. Okay, now I've opened my avatar. There's something very, very important that you should have in mind. First, dress your avatar, then give it a pose. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my files. I'm going to add garment. Maintain current avatar size and pose. So I'm going to just quick simulate. Okay, now that we have this, we can go in our poses. And we're going to choose, um, I'm going to choose this one. Okay, pose only. And voila, it will change the pose. Once you are happy with the pose and you go through like render and you check out the render and it's fine to you, you love it. This is where I would change the particle distance. I'm just going to put the shoe on him. And once you're happy with it, what you will do is that once it's all selected, change the particle distance into 5. So now I will press simulate and I will wait for my garment to simulate. And then I would go into the process of adding these items that we have made into one file and then we would go through render. So I will see you in a bit. Okay, now that we're happy with the simulation, I'm gonna come out of simulation and control K. So now I'm gonna save this project, save as project. Again, YouTube avatar. And close YouTube 3, save. So once we have all our projects saved, I will open YouTube rug and walls, okay? Because basically this is the space that we are going to fit everything into. Press Ctrl K once everything is selected so that they are free. So now, as many times as we want, we can press simulate, nothing will happen, but we don't need to simulate because we have simulated all our files and now we're just gonna add them as objects. Okay, once we have our scene, now we are going to add our hangers and the shirt, okay? So, YouTube and hangers. Okay, add garment avatar. Okay, I'm going to select this. Okay. And then I'm going to hold shift and... First, I'm going to select this, all faces. Then I'm going to hold shift and select the hanger. And then 
while I'm holding shift I also selected this so that I can move them all together just one other thing because the rug is on the floor you should also bring this a little bit higher see like if I don't do this when I go down we can see that it's too much in the ground okay so we don't want that okay looks okay looks fine yep and now we will add our avatar and the garment on the avatar so it was YouTube 3 which was the pose and the avatar and we're going to add Oops, sorry. Select all faces. Oh, no, no. Okay, first, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to move the pattern here. And also move this one here. Okay, um, when you have this problem, what you should do is... Hey, guys, welcome back. Sorry, my battery ran out. And now let's get back. So first is that we can select all... Uh, the bases that we made for our show uh, showroom, we can bring them back. So the other thing that you can do is that, say I want to bring my avatar here, okay? What you should do is you are going to go on joints. When you go on joints, when you select the center of the joint and make sure it has to be this center, this purple dot, okay? As this is selected, you can see all of it is yellow, okay? I'm holding shift and I'm selecting the garment as well. Then, still holding the shift, I am going to select that dot, okay? So find a point that you can select the dot. Okay, and now I'm letting go of the shift button, and as you can see, I can move my avatar, okay? The avatar also needs to come higher, so it's not in the ground. I give a look from down. Yeah, it looks okay now. Select all faces. And again, I'm doing this while I'm holding shift down. Okay, remember, we need to hold shift down all the time. And now we're going to move our hanger towards the wall. So now I'm going to press 2. And from front, it's going to look something like this. Let's give it a quick render. And as you can see, everything is on freeze except the shirt, which also I will freeze it. So now we have done our project. It's completed. We need to go through render. I'm going to quickly tell you how I rendered this project. But this does need a whole nother video because these settings, they have so much to be talked about. So first off is that I wanted a landscape so what I did was I chose landscape and I gave it the sizes that I wanted. You can basically give any sizes that you want. Uh, this has to be on millimeters. This resolution is something that is very important. I would change this the last minute like when I'm actually 100% sure that this is the render that I want. Okay, The rest I will leave. Then I would go in render properties. I'm going to bring the noise to the end. Maximum render time. I put it on 30. I thought 30 was a fair number. I'm not going to touch this. I'm going to put the light on high, even though I didn't talk about light today, but this is what I did. Um, I will explain that on another video. Then we will go through lights. But I'm just going to tell you the settings that I chose for it. So here there are some custom lights that you can choose. 
that I will make a video about this, but I put it on studio high contrast for my project. And the rest, again, I didn't touch. Light angle depends on which angle the light is facing your avatar or scene. And then when you press play for final render, it will start rendering, but of course it's gonna take much more time. But basically we put it on 30 minutes, so it's gonna take 30 minutes to render this scene. Let me know in the comments what else you would like me to cover. And as always, you ask me, I search for it and we learn together. Thank you so much for being here with me today. And I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell.